not going to play now. Gary Grant is in. No, I'm not going to play. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to play anymore. That's it. Welcome to a behind-the-scenes look at a Hollywood recording studio. Jazz trumpet player Freddie Hubbard is about to begin a two-day session to record a digital live album with an all-star studio band, led by composer-conductor Alan Ferguson. Right now, the studio crew is busy arranging microphones and setting sound levels. Because this is a live session, there won't be any opportunity for editing out mistakes or overdubbing additional parts later on. This means that the recording of each performance must be executed perfectly by both the players and the engineers in the control booth. And even to these pros, that prospect is a challenge. Setting up the studio is almost complete. While Freddie and Alan are discussing final details of the arrangement they're about to record, Chief Engineer Alan Sides is making the last adjustment on Freddie's mic. The tension is beginning to build. In a moment, the red light that signals a recording is in progress will blink on. And after that, no room for errors. Missed cues or wrong notes will mean the entire performance must begin again. It's no wonder that everyone's anticipation is running high. And now it looks like everything is ready to go.
Together with producer Jeff Weber, Freddie and Alan are checking the playback of Hubbard's cover, which Alan composed especially for this project. The recording is being done on the most advanced digital stereo equipment available. The pulses you see on the screen are the music being translated into digital computer language. I want to play the big band chart. <laughs> Rhythm, not rhythm. One, uh, uh, two, three, four. One. While getting ready for the next song, Alan rehearses the flutes and bells separately from the rest of the band. Since the musicians are playing these arrangements for the first time, this kind of special attention is necessary. It also leaves more time for the engineers to get ready.
Freddie congratulates trombone soloist Bill Watrose. The other members of this extraordinary band are trumpet players Gary Grant and Chuck Finley, Finster Rosa on French horn, Tommy Johnson on tuba, woodwind players Bob Dracarico, Bud Shank, and Bill Perkins. Bill Mays on keyboards. Bassist Abe Laboriel. Guitarist Dan Ferguson. Bill Maxwell on drums. And Joe Picaro on percussion. 90 and 91, let's set that. For Freddie's sake, let's set that and we'll make that a total of six bars. In other words, three times. Alan has asked Nick Perito, well-known arranger conductor, to act as the booth supervisor for today's session. They're discussing with Freddie various details of Joe Zawinul's Birdland, the next arrangement to be recorded. During all recording sessions, there are times when it's necessary to stop in the middle of a take. Way in the air. Gotta stay worried. Alan's concern is about the tempo rushing.
Freddie is not too sure about his performance on this day. So they'll listen to the playback before making a decision. Everyone's excited about this one, and Freddie agrees, it sounds great. The changes made in the chart have worked very well, and the engineers have done an excellent job. All the hard work has paid off. Oh, who was that? Who was that hit that note? Who was that? I don't know. That's an idiot. That's an idiot. It started really creeping on the end, but boy, it had good moments. It was so damn exciting. It feels awful good. Jeez. Well, if you can't dance for that, watch out. This is your first thing. Freddie. I think it would be nice if you played first. Unless you you would rather have let somebody take the first solo while you rest after playing the melody. Jeff, it's up to you. You would it's feel all right. Up until we get that high part. Huh? That's, that's cool. I'll play after that. After 40. For 46? Okay. So you're, 40. No, I'm talking about at at between 36 and 37. You want me to come in and solo? Just blow. Yeah. In other words, either you... Either you or, or, or Billy. I mean, I, maybe Bill Mays could go first, and then you can come Freddie in. Freddie and Alan are discussing the spots have, for improvised solos, melody, and Christopher Cross's Ride Like the Wind. Let him go first. Okay. We're opening up between 36 and 37. In other words... I can come in and play my licks. <laughs> With support from the rhythm section, Bill runs through his upcoming solo. Get funky or what? Stay on Fender Roads for Freddie. I think it's good, man. It's gotta be funky. Hey Fern, would you would you tell that guy to move those baffles back? He just pushed it out of the way. Here we go, take nine.
congratulates Chuck Finley on the beautiful high notes he's played. And despite a few signs of fatigue, everyone senses a feeling of accomplishment as the first day comes to a close. Alan's just reminded Freddie that tomorrow's session will be very different. Although the rhythm section will remain the same, the horns will be replaced by a string orchestra. Bert, uh, could I ask a question? What would happen if she just did like a biz, you know, that, that, that biz big Leondo, my only big harp word I know. But uh, if she could do that, with the echo on, what kind of a noise? Yeah, that's, that's the noise I'm talking about. Let that swim in echo. Let me just, let's hear that once. Okay, 21. One, two, three. Recording considerations today are very different from those of yesterday. Due to the quiet nature of stringed instruments, the audio problems are more severe. If the recording mixer in the booth is not careful, the sound of the rhythm section will easily leak into the string mics. The first tune today is Freddie's own song, Brigitte, which has been newly arranged for this album by Alan. Because Freddie is hearing the new charts for the first time, he has some questions about the changes. Oh, the second time? You mean when you come back? Or when you're playing jazz? When I'm, when I'm playing jazz. Just the cello. I didn't have this violin line. I took I had some different changes I wanted to put in there. Oh! Oh, well, take them out then. We'll take the violin out. We'll take the strings out. Okay. Change the changes. Change it. Everybody Up to where Freddie comes in. I don't even understand what the problem is. Okay. Now, you got it, right? Whatever you want, man. Whatever's comfortable for you. Whenever you're ready, we'll go for a take.
you take your tin and we'll listen to it we'll come back and do condition alpha Myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, uh, I just think we have 
that's a good effect that we have to leave room for. It. So, yes, yeah, so yeah. it, 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 we just got to keep the drums as quietly as possible. Okay. 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 Uh, should we tell yeah. Billy? Tell him, Billy. Yeah, yeah, you might tell. We got to eat. Billy, uh, our problem is that we have a little a leakage problem with the, the position of the string mics. So without hampering your enthusiasm and the beautiful playing you're doing, could you cool it just a little bit? The volume problems have made it necessary to surround the drums with soundproof material. This will allow the drummer to play at a normal energy level without interfering with the string sound. You're all in the same box. That's the problem. Hey. We can we can do it. Let's go. One, two.
449. Perfect. Perfect. Let's listen to it. This sounds bad to me. <laughs> strings but can hardly hardly hear the rhythm section bill mays is concerned about what he hears in his earphones well i'd like to have them a little bit too but not equally okay. they just change everything Alan, can you hear this dialogue listen we can't turn in a together performance if it stays like this during recording each musician okay, must be able to hear does. himself clearly in relation to the other players the headset mix therefore is very critical <laughs> After some last minute adjustments, the tape is rolling for Kenny Loggins' This Is It.
After weeks of preparation and two days of intense recording, the Freddie Hubbard album, Ride Like the Wind, is finished. For the past hour, Studio Live has made it possible for us to sit in on this remarkable event. Thanks, Freddie, for a very enjoyable experience.